Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm back for part two of my Thursday morning beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. On our beautiful mile long stretch of heaven on earth. I love it. Love it, I love it. The sun's kind of peeking in and out from behind the clouds right now. It's kind of half in, half out. But it's muggy out here, 84 degrees, feels like 94. Heat advisory in effect for Collier County, all of Collier County today, just like yesterday. Partly cloudy skies, probably some rain, isolated showers later. A little better chance for showers today than yesterday. Water temperature 87. Tide's still coming in. Just gonna take a stroll down the beach for a little while here. This morning we hung out at Wiggins Pass all morning. Man, did we see some incredible colors early this morning. If you're following along for my very first live page, you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely amazing. I got some photos and video of that to share later today, so check back periodically. And please, anything that I post, give it a share. I would appreciate that. That really helps out. These live feeds, comments, comments on everything. The more interaction there is with my postings, the better it is. In the eyes of Facebook, it raises you in their rankings, and then they start sending it out to more and more people. So I'd appreciate the shares, the likes, the comments, all that good stuff. Some of you are very faithful in doing that, and thank you, I appreciate it. Even if you have little comments, you know, that you just copy and paste, that's fine with me. It's just that interaction. If you see somebody come on whose name you don't recognize, so welcome them aboard, welcome them into our beach family. Invite them to, into a conversation. That's why I'm out here. I'm out here to bring people together in the mornings, get you away from the ugly old news, give you something, an alternative, something else to watch in the mornings. That's why I'm out here for so darn long. People come and go, which is fine with me. I really don't expect anybody to hang in here for the entire life. If you do, thank you. There's a few of you that do that. See this great blue heron up, oh, took off, hanging out here all morning. Saw it early this morning with those beautiful early morning colors behind it. Just a silhouette. Area five over here on my left. This is all closed. The fence, the little barrier, the rope that they had up is gone here. It got knocked down by Tropical Storm Debbie. So just stay out of here, please. Just be advised, this is all closed to the public up in here. I know there's a lot of people curious as to what it looks like up here, but stay out, it's for your own good. There's all kinds of stuff sticking up out of the ground back in here. There's really nothing to see. There's nothing left. Hey, you know, there used to be a fish cleaning station out here. Back in the old days, the beach used to come way out here. 
Yeah. You remember when it, it used to, the boardwalk used to come way out? Yeah, there's a pipe down here from the old water line. That storm uncovered. Pretty wild to think how big this beach used to be. What it's shrunk down to. I'm standing was all high and dry beach. Morning. Those fishermen dragging their carts up here. scheme of things, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park isn't that old. It opened in 1976. People think it's been around a lot longer than that, but no. It's just private land owned by Joe Wiggins. He used to live back in here, back up towards the pass, up by the pass. It was just a dirt road to drive in all along back in there. Then there was a whole bunch of hoopla with the county on the state buying this land. There's a nice little history piece about this. My friend Jim Matthews, it's not like in book form. It's just you can download it from the Internet. If you go to the Southwest Florida Television Beach Family, I believe I have it pinned up to the top of the page. It's maybe the Del Norwegians or Del Norwegians page, the Southwest Florida Television, Del Norwegians Pass State Group. If you go to the top of that, I think you'll find that pinned to the top. It's a good read. I don't know how you download it. You give him a little donation for his efforts. Good morning, Alberto. It was a ver very controversial process, the building of this park. A lot of battling with Collier County. Good morning. Just as I ended the first part of this morning's beach walk, I heard the eight, the seven o'clock church bells are ringing. Or was it, was it the 8 o'clock? When was that? Was that? No, that was my first live feed. We heard the 7 o'clock bells ringing. I don't know. I lose track of time when I'm out here. I don't really care about time. I'm on beach time. It's my time. It's our time. This is where we come to forget about things like time. <laughs> I'm trying to guesstimate what time it is now. I know it's after 8 o'clock because people are walking up here. Well, I wish you were walking here beside me. Your toes half in the sand, half in the water.
sun, sun, sun. I don't mind the sun being behind the clouds because it's getting hot. But I do like when the sun's out. It just brings out the color and things. Good morning, happy Thursday if you're just tuning in. Up at the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Very quiet out here, as you can see. A few walkers here and there making their way up to Wiggins Pass. There's actually a few fishermen up there now. Gorgeous mile long beach. Water's kind of cloudy. Still not clearing up. I don't know what the dealio is. It's been cloudy ever since that darn tropical storm passed this by. Water temperature is 87 degrees.
down the, think about the south end of parking lot four, where parking lot four was. It's still kind of there. That's the next parking lot they're going to reopen. Parking lot number three reopened last Friday. So we've got one, two, and three to use. That boat almost sounds like an airplane out there. Sun's out now. Probably out at about 75% intensity, which is plenty. Still give you a wicked sunburn. not shells, it's sand crunching under my feet. So powdery. The further you get away from Wiggins Pass, the better the water looks. They look really bad up there this morning. It's really brown. Love it. Love it, love it, love it.
Second Lot 3. It's about going to do it for this morning's live feeds. I still got a lot of walking ahead of me, but my arm's getting tired. <laughs> Holding up the camera and gimbal. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you sent some stars, I appreciate that. Tips, I appreciate that. I appreciate you hanging out and being a friend. If you shared, I appreciate that. Sharing's always important. If you're a subscriber, thank you. But above all, thanks for being a friend. You're awesome. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. Why you do that? I have no idea, but thank you. Y'all are awesome. Go back and watch my first live video from this morning. Beautiful colors. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. May God bless our wonderful, beautiful, and amazing country. May God bless our spacious skies. God bless America. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.